Hey buddies, welcome to Bass Games. My name is Simon. Today I'm bringing you top 10 games I'd like to try. I could say top 10 games I want to try or want to play, must play. These are 10 games I'm curious about. These are games I've seen, I've heard about, I may have had the opportunity to play but didn't. I'll tell you a bit more about that. And let's crack on with no particular order really, but at number 10 we have the game Furnace. So Furnace is a game that came out in 2021. It's been one of the top 10, 50, sorry, top 50 most played games of uh, the month of November and the month of October 2021. And of course, check out that playlist, top 50 most played games of all time by going through of, of any particular month in that playlist. Of course, uh, hit the like button, share, support the channel via Patreon and follow by Instagram via the description. And let's move on to number nine. OK, so what are your comments on that? So it seems to be quite a quick game as well. It's quite interesting. Next up we have Clank Legacy. Now I've played Clank, I've played Clank in Space. I do like Legacy games. I'm keen to know what this one is like in particular. It's uh, definitely up high on my list. It's been on there for a little while now. Highly rated and it has an overall rank of 34, which is greatly high. As you can see, no rating. It's in my wish list and there we are. Next up, Smartphone Inc. Well, this seems very apt and appealing. So I don't know, I heard it's not necessarily good at lower player count. As you can see, community three to five. I'm hearing some people think it's okay as a two. Uh, I don't necessarily game just as a two, but it's something to consider. So I'm curious now about the economic game that's around 90 minutes. So 60 90. Uh, well, that's on the side of caution. Interesting theme, interesting kind of layout. I'm not sure about that, but it looks interesting. Yeah, nice artwork on the front as well. It reminds me of It's a Wonderful Kingdom and It's Wonderful. Um, world but that's a different uh, artist i've been told and this seems to be implemented by mobile markets so a smartphone ink game is very interesting so i don't know anything about that i don't know if it's a kickstarter game doesn't seem to be but it's a wonderful player game interesting so i wonder if that's a better game let's just have a quick look at the comments seems like it's pretty new um ah okay interesting all right so Let's uh, crack on with some more stuff. Oh dear, there's a four. <laughs> right. Okay, so next up, Hadara. Now, this is the guy who has made Crown of Amara, Mark other Games, Benjamin Schwer. Seems very interesting. Z Man Games. I haven't played it, as you can see. Curious. Same rating as Crown of Amara. So looking forward to seeing how uh, this one pans out. Yeah, Crown of Amara is all the way over here. So we're going to have a quick look at that. And yeah, it's still 7.5. It's been 7.5 for as long as I can remember, and that's been quite a long time. So it's still holding on. You can rank this based on rating buttons. This is a game I did not like very much. You can play that on Board Game Arena. Let's go for rank, which I don't think can be very helpful. Let's go on average rating. Okay, so yeah, nothing else to really split them. Promo cards have dropped, interestingly. So up next, we have got, as you can see, a four out of 10. I gave this, does very little for me, yeah, and then as you can see the ratings isn't particularly good either. Everyone's first game might be like that, I don't know how many more games you've just played before it, but it's a game to probably avoid and choose to play one of his other games. Okay, up next, let's have a look. We now have Neom. Now this seems to be very Seven Wonders meets, I think, Suburbia, or something like that. Uh, not too many ratings going on here by Lookout Games. Key game I'm definitely keen to try. And uh, yeah, okay, you can solo it as well. Okay, I wasn't necessarily aware of that. Definitely seems of interest and a game I'd like to check out. Up next, Alubari, a nice cup of tea. Nearly uh, had this game, but didn't, unfortunately. Something kind of fell through and uh, I had the opportunity of just having the game, but didn't, unfortunately. So yes, this is the guy uh, by Tony Boydell who made Snowdonia, we implements it. I don't know if it is a better game, that's a thing. And uh, Snowdonia, I give it a seven. So very similar rated game, um, but yeah, interesting. So as you can see, the rating is pretty much the same. What else are people talking about this one? Okay, so the comments going on here, well, but bit, bit all over the place actually. People seem to know what they want. And then we have Glen Moore 2. Well, I played Glen Moore and it's fine. I nearly had the opportunity to play a Glen Moore 2, but didn't. Uh, so I ended up playing something different. I've only played it once and yeah, I, I can't recall much about this game. It was definitely a while ago that I played it. It was in fact over four years ago. So uh, Fleet the Dice game, I have played Fleet. I've got Fleet um, and it's a very interesting game, Fleet. It's, uh, yeah, I think the rating seems right, although it's it kind of grows on you. It's a strange one. 
it's a bit odd and uh, it's not a bad thing. It's got a lot going for it, but it's it's a game that almost finishes earlier than expect. It's not a bad thing at all, but it's something just to be aware of. And yeah, I've heard good things about Fleet the Dice game, but it is a game which is Kickstarter, which does influence these things. Fleet has been out a lot longer than Fleet the Dice game, which is due from chance to have this stuff kind of um, respond to it. Um, but either way, curious enough to give it a go, especially as it evolves this kind of roll and write mechanism, which you don't always need in the game. It doesn't have to be good, but I'm more than happy to give it a go. Okay, so Tapestry, I think this is the second one out of my top 10, so in at second place. This is a game I had a chance to play. Um, I knew it was their first time playing. I was worried that it could take them what, some while for them to get used to the game, so I skipped on the play by Jamie Stigmeyer. As um, prestigious as Jamie Stigmeyer is, uh, the game design of most of I've played, I haven't enjoyed too much, unfortunately. I don't rank them in my top, often many of them at all, in my top 100 games of all time. But equally, you know, he borrows a lot from other games. Uh, fantastic uh, endorsement for the hobby. And yes, uh, this particular game, I've heard there's a pretty bad rule book as well. I've heard terrible things about the rule book on a recent uh, video live stream I was on. And yes, I'm hoping that um, it, it does have a better rule book. I don't know if there's a second one yet. So, Underwater Sissies, this is number one. This is the one I really want to play. It is fairly heavy. I'm getting used to one of these heavy games now, though. It's 44 overall, so it's pretty high. It is one about 10 odd games I haven't played in the board game top 100, according to everyone's rankings. And it's a game I'm very keen to play. 30 to 45 minutes per player, so I'm hoping it doesn't take too long. Again, it seems to be best as a two, so two or three. I'm very keen to try this one out by Vlad Mosucci. I've played a few of his other games. Some of them are liked, some of them I haven't. And uh, it seems to have enough of a hype about it that I'm keen to basically give it a go. Yeah, the, uh, the last will I've played, and yes, I'm keen to give this one a shot and see how it cracks on. Well, that has been my top 10 games that I'm keen to try out. Let me know your thoughts on them, and I look forward to speaking to you again very soon.